What's up, Golden Guys? This is Tiger Crush, aka the Guy King of W's, and welcome back to some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Today, we are continuing on with our playthrough of all of the parallel quests in Xenoverse 2. If you haven't seen my first video, the first part, I did parallel quests 2 and 3. I skipped one because that was the tutorial parallel quests, and it's kind of boring, so yeah. We're going to be doing prepare for the attack of the sands and sand blood. What I do with the parallel quest here is that I usually pick a character that matches with the quest, and if it doesn't match with the quest, I will pick a ridiculous, like, character that doesn't match at all. Like, since we're doing the prepare for the attack of the sands, so is there training during that time? Did, um, what was it, like a year training, something like that? We're going to be playing with let's see all right so since we since there's no like logical person to use because literally um piccolo all of them we're going against them so we can't pick any of them or else we'll have double characters so time to pick a ridiculous character completely out of place and since well i guess it's not all the way out of place but since they are preparing for the attack of the sands the twist on it is they're preparing for the attack of kaba and you know how we do it we do a solo dolo around here we don't need any teammates just kaba going against them like Kaba he, he's got real fed up with um how his universe is and how the sands are in his universe and like he destroyed them and heard about universe 7 and was like yo I want to destroy this earth okay that that's a terrible story I, I got I got a story I got a story instead of um instead of trying to destroy them he's actually helping them prepare against the sands there we go see there we go. see I got it it just took me a while to think of something. He heard that the evil sands from this universe is coming to Earth. He was like, hey, you know, I'm a good sand, and Goku's dead, and you know, Gohan's not really a fighter quite yet. Yo, who who are these people? I accept. Watch they be terribly strong. Like, look at that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have did this. I knew it. He got wings, for God's sake. Like, he's holy. All right, we got to take out him first. It looked like he the strongest, but you never know. Somebody could be holding back. They letting me get my wands with him, though. Ooh, I just hit him with that front flip kick. Yo, Kaba. I, to I told y'all Kaba was the one. I told y'all in my review of Kaba that he was the one. There's no denying it. Yo, his, like, his moveset is so lit. The only thing that I... Like, it's the thing that I do like about Kaba, but I also don't like is that he's so skinny. I mean, I know he's just, you know, he's young. He's a young sand. But if you look back at the other young sands or half sands or even young Goku and young Vegeta, like, they're never this skinny. I know he's from a different universe and all of that, but still, good lord. Like, he need to go to his grandma house or something. Like, <laughs> grandma need to fix him some food, uh. <laughs> uh man. I'm a... Right, let's hit him with that ultimate. This is completely off track. Like, this is a complete side thing. But it is part of the parallel quest. So I guess a new rule is for me. Like, to at least, um, especially for these easier parallel quests, to at least make it, like, more difficult on myself. Ouch. I should be, um, going against these random time patrollers as well. That way. Ooh! That man hit me with a... A Shoryuken. Bam! Dalekanian! Oh, come on. Come on, that was supposed to be perfect. Bam! Yeah, I can't even. Oh, he keeps dodging it. I respect. It's not gonna work on him. Oh, he teleported with me. Teleport now. Yes, let's go. I got him with it. All right, so we finished off those time controllers. We don't have to be Super Saiyan anymore. You know, Kaba is a young Super Saiyan, so he's not used to the transformation. All right, Gohan, it's time for your training. Piccolo has assigned me to fight you, to toughen you up. Oh, never mind. I killed you. <laughs> I killed you on accident. I'm sorry, uh, Piccolo wants to jump in. I killed Piccolo's son. I killed his son. I'm sorry. Who's it? Wait, who's who's that? Whoa, he got back up. Yo, Gohan. I'm impressed, man. Like you might be even stronger than Kaba as a kid. I'm saying that like I like I seen him before Dragon Ball Super. Damn, that's it. Well, these are the easier parallel quests. My promise was like I was gonna do every parallel quest. So even the easy ones. We gotta do the easy ones to get to the hard ones. That's how it goes, man. Alright, so for the second parallel quest of this video, we're gonna be doing Sand Blood. It's weird because, you know, right right here is Raditz, the Raditz part of the story. And then, you know, oh, we're training for... Well, this this is probably a past thing, too, going back to Dragon Ball. But then it's like, oh, we're training for Vegeta and Nappa to come. And then we go back to the Raditz part. Like, 
okay well we're gonna jump into it all right so we're going against piccolo and goku i don't know who else we're going against but since it's those two it would make sense it would make sense to use raditz he has three costumes what makes him so special to get three costumes when my man <laughs> hold up when my man when come on when my man gohan only get two my man team gohan only get two costumes i i don't have the other one unlocked unfortunately but my man here has three but okay there's nothing different but the skills but still this one is the best one battle suit too and we're going solo dolo just like raditz did unfortunately he should have brought vegeta and ava if raditz would have brought vegeta and ava the first time they came it would have been over for goku and all of them it was already over for goku because he died anyway oh oh i got raditz on my team dang it i did doubles i knew that was gonna happen i just knew it oh well you know raditz used that that kagi no bush no jutsu you feel me he used that shadow clone jutsu dog ain't it's nothing wrong with it come back here goku i'm your brother don't fight my shadow clone i think it's cool how they gave raditz red key i honestly don't believe he had red key i don't think i've ever seen him with red key in um in any other game or any other media like i've never seen it in anime either my man like he's he is he is brother of god yeah so i guess they were sort of like hinting at you know goku being the super saiyan god by giving raditz red key like raditz had potential like at first he was <laughs> hold up wait wait a second oh i swear to god i thought this was yamcha over here i thought xenoverse 2 was really trolling and like putting Yamcha dead over here. Sorry, Goku. All right, let me let me go kill my nephew now. All right, let me do this vacation delete, aka that purple lean attack. Bam! I could have sworn I had full power energy charge, but you know how they be lying to me. All right, Goku got back up, and he come in, help me hide my shadow clone. Like Goku's still not paying attention. Oh, there we go. That's finally, brother. Yo, Rabbit's move set is lit. Like, look at all these twists and turns. All right, we got a vacation delete this man out of my life. Yo, he dodged it. Yo, Goku. Goku. You can't dodge this, can you? Shoot. It looks like I didn't train enough. It's still funny how Goku is still lighthearted about losing the Raditz. Like his whole world is not going to be destroyed. Alright, y'all. So that's been it for this video. Today we have covered Prepare for the Attack of the Sands and Sand Blood. The next video of Xenoverse 2 will do Cyberman's Revenge. That looks crazy but it's still easy we're still on the easy part of things but in time it will get more difficult and it will become more challenging we're going to do cyberman's revenge and then attack of the sands the the anticipated video for the next time but um yo everybody lit over here i didn't know that the servers was this lit today but hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did definitely hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button it should be popping up in about five seconds um, I don't know, something like that. Five seconds, in five seconds, it should be here, or it's probably here now. And, uh, I want to give a shout out to all my new subscribers as of late. I didn't upload a video yesterday, and I feel terrible about it. Yeah, I'm going to be doing videos very often, so if you enjoy Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, check out my playlist. That should be popping up as well. Um, recently, one of my most recent videos, um, my Hit Master Quest video hit 500 views, which is amazing. I want to give shouts out to all of y'all and thank y'all for supporting and I'll keep bringing more content. So if you enjoy, hit that sub button right in its mother fucking face. Hope y'all enjoy. I've been Tiger Crush, aka the God King of W's. Peace and stay zen.